Hi, my name is Anne Marie Mitchell, and I've lived in Bucks County with my husband for over 20 years, where I'm running in the 178th district. I come from a family of union members and immigrants, and I'm a University of Pennsylvania graduate with degrees from Wharton and Penn Law. I'm an attorney and a business person, and I've spent 30 years negotiating complex business agreements and being an advocate. I know how to get to the heart of an issue, and I'm not afraid to have tough conversations. I'm running for office because politics is personal. As the daughter of a public school teacher, and having raised my two children through the public school system, and graduated from the public schools myself, I'm an advocate for fully funding our public schools. I'm an advocate for gun violence prevention because my mother and my brother are gun violence survivors. I'm an advocate for LGBTQ issues because my children, just like your children, deserve equal protection under the law and a safe place to live. I'm an advocate for equality because I remember a time when I couldn't apply to certain colleges because I was a woman and my family was discriminated against because of their national origin. I'm an advocate for the environment because wells in my township are contaminated and all families all families have a right to clean air clean water and our children deserve an environmentally secure future health care especially mental health care is my priority because of the struggle our friends our families and our colleagues face to get care for themselves and their loved ones the issues in the 178th they really can't be reduced to bullet points. These are important issues in our lives today, and they all intersect. I'm running for office because the people of this district deserve someone who will fight for them in Harrisburg, and who has the courage and the experience to stand up for what is right. I know that the path to the majority runs straight through the 178th. This seat was lost in 2018 by barely 500 votes. And while we knew we had more work to do, it motivated me to run for office in 2019 in the most conservative township in our district. And I lost, but just by 158 votes. So I knew I had to run again. And by knocking thousands of doors in 2019, we helped flip the county and gain two Democratic judges by only losing that supervisor seat by a few, few votes. Now, the rest of the district is less conservative and we are doing the work, and we are talking to people, and we understand what's important to them, so we're resonating on the issues. And when I woke up at 6.30 in the morning after the 2019 election, I did not feel discouraged. I felt energized and ready to run for the state rep seat. We have been doing the work, and with more favorable registration in other parts of this district, it is time for us to finish the job and take back this House seat. This seat is not only viable, it needs to flip for us to have a majority in November. And in the 2020 primary, we secured over 1,100 more votes in the, than the Republican opponent in the 178. So this seat is ripe for change, and we are not prepared to live with the status quo. We are better than that. I want to thank you for your consideration and for your focus on our state legislature. And I'm asking for your support for our campaign. It would come at a crucial time when our goals are just within reach. And in this district, it's the local issues that matter. That's what people come out to vote for. And we can enact real change and secure a victory for Pennsylvania at all levels. Our volunteers, our campaign, and you. And we're going to do this and are very, very thankful for your support.